right, today we're going to continue with our patterns. We are going to continue to describe patterns and use them to help us solve problems and describe the world. Today our concept focus is going to be on extending patterns. So starting a pattern, seeing what's happening, and continuing it. That's what extending means. So for here, for example, we have a picture pattern. Uh, we have a triangle pattern that's drawn on dot paper. Each triangle has two equal sides. Here we can say it is, see that it is one dot long. Here it's two dots, um, or two spaces, I guess, long. Here it would be three spaces long, or four dots, five dots long, or four spaces, and six dots long, and six spaces. So we could say the next dot that, or the next triangle, if we were to try to draw it, would have to have um, seven dots. So this one has six, so each line would be seven dots long. And then of course seven here if I had dots continuing, and then I would join those. And we could continue that pattern. Uh, we can find the number of dots on the perimeter of the triangles, and we're going to try to figure that out for the twelfth triangle. We're going to use a table to assist us. And this is how you'd use a table. Uh, usually when we make a table, we have the number triangle number, so triangle one, two, three, and so on, and the number of dots in the perimeter, so triangle one had three dots in the perimeter all the way around. Um, as you remember, it had a dot there, dot there, and dot there, and then when we extended it, the next one, remember, was three dots, and three dots, and then joined. So six dots in its perimeter, and nine dots, and so on. Really what you can see is happening here is that you're skip counting by three to extend the pattern. So we could just continue with our table. Six, uh, the sixth triangle then would have to have three more. So 18, the seventh one would have to have three more, 21, and so on. As you can see, what we did is we started at three, and we added three each time. So three plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, and so on. The other way that we can look at this pattern is we can look at it from the triangle number to the number of dots. What do we notice to get us from one to three, from two to six, from three to nine? Well, if you're familiar with your times tables, you might notice that this is multiplying by three. One times three is three. 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. If you can find the across pattern, that one is easier because you don't have to extend the whole table all up to the 12th pattern. We can just skip and say, okay, well, what is 12 times 3? And again, remember, we can break it apart. 3 times 10 is 30, um, 3 times 2 is 6, so it becomes 36. It would be the number of dots. Uh, but we could also continue to extend and keep going, so eight and so on, and keep adding three each time if we needed to. Either way works. Um, if you can find the cross pattern, though, it is more effective. All right, now you're going to practice extending the pattern. So you're going to try to find the pattern, either being it a cross. Oops, sorry, I thought I had my pen on across from figure number two, number of square tiles, or if you want to, it can be across this way. Either way, doesn't matter. Um, and try to extend this chart to figures five and six. Be ready to tell the rule as well. Press pause and give it a try now. All right, let's take a look at each pattern if we can. Here we can see one is going to one, two is going to four, three is going to nine. I've noticed one times one is one, two times two is four, three times three is nine, four times four is 16, so that could be my pattern. Um, remember when you're trying to figure out a pattern, it has to work for at least minimum three times. If it doesn't work for three, you haven't established the pattern. So I could continue and I could fill those in. Five times five is 25. And six times six is 36. We could also look at the pattern on the side here. One to what is going to give us four? Four to what is going to give us nine? Nine to what is going to give us 16? And so on. 
All right, and in this case, the pattern's a little bit tricky. One plus what is going to give us four? Well, one plus three. Four plus what is going to give us nine? Well, four plus five. And nine plus what is going to give us 16? Well, it's plus seven. So we can actually see that this rule is going plus three, plus five, plus seven. Next would be plus nine. It's always plus two more than the last time. And to show that continuing pattern, we put an ellipse or three dots. One more to practice with. Um, here we have a Sherpa, Shipra, Shipra, who's making squares out of four toothpicks. She added more toothpicks to make more two more squares. Uh, this shows you here in the table the pattern that you'll notice. And sometimes you might want to use a model um, or pictures to add to see what's going on here. So I'm going to do some pictures here. There's my first square made out of toothpicks. I can see I would have used four toothpicks to make two squares. I really only need to add three toothpicks, which gives me the seven that I see here. And to make three squares, I really would only need to add three more toothpicks because my I can use that same toothpick on this side here, which makes it 10 plus three more. So I can see here what I'm doing is I'm adding three each time is my rule. <coughs> I can use that to continue my table here to make it all the way up to 13 squares. So I would have 16, I would have 19, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and so on. As I noticed, I'd made a slight mistake here. 22, 23, 24, 25 would be 25, 26, 27, 28, and so on, leaving us with 40 as our final. All right, and now you're on to your practice of extending patterns. Oops, sorry, I thought I had my pen on. Uh, page 12 to 13, numbers 1, 3, and 4. Remember, you are welcome to draw pictures if that helps. You can extend the table um, looking at the uh, second column or the first column to the second column. Depends what you chose to look at. Remember once you're finished that you check and you show me before you move on. Um, if you have any questions along the way, please of course remember to ask.